Welcome to this new video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make this uh, sinusoidal curve on the right side, which I have rendered uh, using grasshopper functions. Uh, so I'll change the perspective now to shade it. And yeah, I will. I will delete the okay so now what I've done here is I have uh, changed the render settings from here to the shaded one and now I did this because I wanted to show you what you can do with the graph mapper which is this function here you can see it is taking sine values uh, from the sine graph so uh, if you keep on changing uh, the point and if you keep on increasing it you can see on the right side the height of the surface keeps on increasing because it's increasing the amplitude of the surface uh, but when I decrease the amplitude you can see the surface uh, is of lesser height but if I make it uh, of small wavelength uh, you can see uh, the distribution on the right hand side is also changing uh, like this and uh, you can keep on changing all these parameters and create a surface uh, as required by you so this is a very interesting function to create surfaces like this in this video I will be showing you how to make the final baked uh, surfaces using this grasshopper functions okay now let's start with the first step we have to construct a point construct point command and uh, as you can see a point is already constructed here and we have to move this point on set direction so yeah we have moved the points in the z direction two units upwards and then let's create a plane surface created a plane surface on the right but now using the point on the plane so the point is on the plane and now uh, let us make the size as 500 I'll copy this left click mouse alt and I'll add the sizes as 500 on both sides so now we have this 500 by 500 plane on the right and uh, in the next step what we have to do is uh, divide surface so now use this uh, uh, using divide surface now use this plane as uh, the surface and it divided by default into 10 but we want to divide it by 49 uh, so yeah let's divide it in 49 parts so we can have exactly 50 number of surfaces and uh, so the next step will be we will pull all this point pull uh, these points and uh, let let's give geometry value as a point value so I'll create a point function uh, let us set one point which can be any point on the surface I'll select one in the center and then I add it in the geometry 
so i'm going to pull this point and uh, in the next step we have to remap all this numbers so the closest point value uh, all these 2500 value and the source that is the distances and now to map this into sinusoidal curve we have to use a, a graph mapper and using this graph mapper we have to select the type of graph which is sine graph and uh, we have to map uh, these values as per the sign and uh, now you can change these points in the graph so you can see I can move this uh, point now as per my requirement and uh, till now uh, the points are not plotted as per the graph okay so now to create uh, the graph let's do a multiplication first multiplication of these values so multiplication of these values with the number randomly 38 so I'm uh, increasing the amplitude of this values by 38 times and uh, so uh, the next function what I will be creating is amplitude where I will take this result as the amplitude and a vector in z direction so I have set the amplitude and vector now what I will do is I will move all these points as per this amplitude so this will be my motion and the points will be from here which we divided earlier so now you can see here there is a wave pattern on the right already and uh, so this is how you create the wave pattern by moving these points as per the amplitude and then uh, you have to create a surface from these points so for that create surface uh, from points and put all the points in uh, this function here and uh, for the u count value we need to take the values uh, from the old parameter but before that we need a addition function function here and uh, I will add the value 1 uh, this is for the value 49 as we need the u value to be 50 so I'll take the 49 from here and put it here and the u value now will be 50 uh, here I need to flatten the points so now you can see we have got this uh, surface uh, using these points uh, so these points now need to be uh, plotted into a curve so I'll put uh, all this surfaces in this curve and uh, I will project project uh, this geometry and uh, I will merge this as you can see this is the bottom line and this is the top line so I have to merge both of them this one and this one so uh, when you merge uh, both of them you get all the curves here and then you have to loft uh, this curves and now you have all the four sides as the surfaces okay so now I will show you how to hide uh, the points which we are seeing on the right side so these are the move points and uh, these are the set of divide surface points 
so i select both of them and i hide them and now you can see the curve uh, which we generated using loft and uh, yeah that's how we create the surface now what you can do here is you can use this loft that is the four sides and this surface and you can bake both of them together and uh, then uh, you can hide all of this so you have got uh, this uh, surface as you can see here I didn't bake the sides so I will do it again I'll bake it yeah so now the sides are also baked so I'll hide all of them so you can render later this particular uh, baked uh, geometry uh, and uh, apply surfaces here so this is how uh, you first create this uh, graph mapper and plot all the divided points uh, as per the amplitude and then these points are taken uh, to create a surface and this surface is then uh, projected and created a 3d uh, surface and then we bake it so this is how you create uh, this uh, sinusoidal surface hope you uh, understood all the parts if you have any doubt you can comment in the video section below thank you